Are you isolated at home right now? Welcome to Mixar 64, Lego and more. And in this series, I'm gonna be showing and teaching you guys a bunch of super awesome Lego builds to keep you busy at home. Let's get building. Alright, so we're going to start with two 1x16 Technic bricks and three Technic axles, one short one and two longer ones. And we will also need a bunch of these little Technic axle stoppers. Let's get started by putting one of the long Technic axles into the end hole of our Technic brick and use two of the stoppers to space out the bricks. This will make sense a bit later. Put two more of the stoppers on the outside of the bricks and then you should have something looking like this. The space in between the bricks should be about four studs wide. Now let's get the smaller axle and put it through the sixth hole and using the stoppers on the inside. And finally, we will put the remaining axle in the other end hole, but this will need this special Technic piece to make the car go. Follow similar steps and put the Technic piece in the middle like I've done here. This is important, so feel free to pause the video if needed. Next, I'm going to use some plates to reinforce the frame for our car. I'm just using some 1x2s, 1x6s and 1x8s here. Now let's put in the rubber band. Move the centre axle so you can slip on the band like I'm doing here. And I'm now going to put some plates on the top. And some of these sloped plates to make sure the Technic pin can move freely. Now it's time for our wheels. I've got two different sizes and I'm simply just sliding them onto the axles. Guys, then that is it. There you have your very own Lego rubber band powered car. It's pretty cool. I got my car to travel about five meters, but it does depend on what rubber band you use. Anyway guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button to see more builds just like this one. Bye for now.